Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. It's Whip Wednesday and today is May 1st, um, new month, and we are planning some really exciting things this month. So I wanted to hop on here, say hi to everybody, and uh, hope your week is going fabulous. Let me know what you're working on today. Uh, my dad is actually here today filming with me and we are making a baby blanket, which I'll show in just a minute. Um, but I have some really exciting news that I wanted to start this video out with is that uh, we hit a big milestone on Instagram. We are now at 20,000 followers on Instagram. That is so awesome. Huge milestone for Yarn Utopia. Thank you to everybody who is supporting us on Instagram. If you haven't checked out our Instagram, I will link it in the description of this video so you can go follow me there. And guess what? It's time for a giveaway. <laughs> so we are going to have an Instagram exclusive giveaway for our 20,000 follower milestone. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Just see that in the next couple of days. We will have it all set up. I'm gonna be giving away a ton of yarn, some crochet, uh, a, a crochet hook from the Etsy shop would be fancy, and uh, it's just really goodie, a lot of goodies for the crocheter out there. So I'm really excited. Um, so just keep checking back on our Instagram, and we will have that giveaway set up very soon. Also. Um, yeah, my dad's here today. We are filming in the studio. We took a little break from <laughs> filming our tutorial to film this little <laughs> Whip Wednesday video. So I wanted to show you the project we are working on today. I have uh, most of it already filmed. We just have to film the border, so I don't even, I don't have that done yet. But I am making this adorable sampler blanket. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's so cute for the baby, of course. <laughs> but I share in the tutorial how you can make this in any size blanket. So you can make it for your full size bed, queen size bed, king size bed, does not matter. I'm making it for my baby. These are actually the specific colors of his nursery. If you haven't seen the pictures of his nursery, check out last week's Whip Wednesday video or I'll, I'll just link the blog in the description of this video so you can see baby's nursery because we are so excited and um, this blanket will definitely be a great addition to his room. So we are filming this tutorial today and we just have to film the border and then we'll have this video up most likely what like next week or no early this I guess at the end of this week <laughs> we'll have it maybe tomorrow I don't know <laughs> so check out that tutorial coming soon to a yarn utopia near you <laughs> Also, um, last week I shared the Sand and Sea Beach Tunic. I actually have it here. You can kind of see it on my camera here. So we have the Sand and Sea Beach Tunic. I did share this in Whip Wednesday's video last week, uh, but it's just so fabulous. The feedback on this piece was incredible. So thank you to everybody who has watched the tutorial and checked out the blog. I love this yarn so much. This yarn is super fabulous. It's called Willow Yarns Rise. And this piece has fringe. It's a cotton acrylic yarn, so it's super lightweight. It's so wonderful. I love this piece so much, and it was great to share this with everybody. So thank you so much for watching that tutorial. If you haven't seen it, it is on my YouTube channel and also on the blog, yarnutopia.com. So make sure you check that out. I wanted to show that to you again. The feedback has been so wonderful for that. And also, I wanted to share with you... A few other things. I have written down like a list of things <laughs> that I want to share with you guys today because it's the beginning of May and I just have some wonderful things planned for this um, this month and we have a um, baby blanket coming out this week. We have, I'm thinking of doing men's um, slippers for Nate. He, he always like goes through his slippers all the time and so I um, want to make him a nice durable pair to wear around the house. And then also I'm thinking of a market bag 
because this week the farmer's market in my community is having its opening weekend so I'm really excited about that so I want to make a bag coming out very soon and I don't know if you guys have heard of the mochilla design or tapestry crochet but I'm really thinking of doing something new for me. I've never done that design type before um, but they all look so fabulous. If you haven't heard of that look it up on Google or Pinterest or something. Mochilla is the coolest thing right now <laughs> and it's like kind of boho and I really like that uh, style. So that is coming up soon and the last thing I wanted to tell you guys because I've been getting messages like constantly <laughs> about the would-be fancy crochet hooks. I'm so glad you guys, I didn't know you guys didn't know <laughs> that it was my dad, Fuad Asmat, who creates these hooks. He actually started out making these hooks because I was complaining <laughs> that my hands was hurting crocheting so much with the small crochet hook and it would just be nice to have something to, uh, bigger to grip on. So he made this amazing crochet hook out of wood that he carved and I was able to crochet then for a longer period of time. And he made me an entire set of these crochet hooks and they're so fabulous. I love them so much. They're all, um, they're all very similar but they're all, since they are hand carved and handmade, like he he carves these himself, you guys. <laughs> they're so amazing. And he makes them by hand and they all have a slight variation. You can kind of see they're all a little bit different in the handle, but they work so nicely. And I crochet like this, like obviously you guys see my tutorials, you can see I crochet like this and I hold my hook like this a lot of the time. Uh, but if you crochet like a, like holding like a pen, it's universal. You can crochet with these hooks for however you crochet. And there's right and left handed hooks. I use the right handed hooks because I crochet with my right hand. But if you crochet with your left hand, there are left handed hooks on the shop as well. And there's um, international shipping too, so that's exciting. Everybody can get a crochet hook. And uh, I know um, they all look kind of different in color. It's because they are made with different types of wood too. So um, my dad told me the most popular one was maple wood, oak wood, and walnut wood. And I think he said lilac wood too. So that's really cool. And they're very lightweight. Like, I love these crochet hooks, you guys. I, I rave about them all the time, and you guys have seen me talk about them in my Whip Wednesday videos. So I highly recommend you check the Etsy shop out because these really, they sell so fast. <laughs> so make sure you check those out and um, get yourself a crochet hook. You can get whatever size crochet hook you want. They're fixed in there, so they're non-removable, okay? So you can choose your favorite crochet hook. They're sets. You can get two or three hooks at a time or just get a single one just to try it out. So I highly recommend them <laughs> to everybody. So that's really what's going on here. My best friend Sarah is on her way. She's She lives in a different state than me. So she comes and she drives over sometimes and stays overnight and does a little vacation. So we're going to have some girl time this week. So I'm really excited to see my bestie. <laughs> and we're going to do a lot of crocheting and hanging out on the couch and just catching up, which I love so much. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to finish crocheting this blanket and filming it with my dad today. So just make sure you check this out coming out soon. And also add me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me so you can enter my giveaway because I'm so excited. 20,000 followers. I'm like shocked. That's so awesome. So thank you for everybody who is supporting Yarn Utopia. You guys are so awesome. So that's all I have today. I just, I'm really excited and I hope you all have a happy May, a happy spring. It's getting warmer outside. <laughs> the sun is shining. <laughs> so I just, I'm really, really happy. Oh, and one last update about baby. <laughs> Baby's growing and he's doing really well. Next week, we have a doctor appointment to plan the entire uh, birth plan and the birth date and everything so as soon as I know I will let all of you know <laughs> and I just love sharing the whole pregnancy journey and baby journey with all of you so 
I cannot wait to have the whole birth plan set out and what we're going to be doing and I'll be able to share that with you hopefully next with Wednesday. <laughs> Until then, happy hooking! <laughs> yeah, my dad's filming. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs>